Hello, and welcome to this lesson on division. We're, we're going to learn how to use the bus stop method. So first, some easy examples, OK? So we've got a question, 36 divided by 3. So there's two numbers in this question. And the first number, we call that the dividend. Okay, so that's the number that is being divided. And the second number is the divisor. And that is what the dividend is being divided by. Okay, so how do we lay out the bus method to answer 36 divided by 3? Well, we first write the divisor, which is 3, draw our bus stop, and then we write in the dividend, which is 36. Now, how many 3s are in the 3? So there's only one 3 in 3, so I write 1. And there's no remainders, so we can move on to the next bit. How many 3s are in 6? Well, I know there's two 3s in 6. And because there's no remainders, that's my final answer here. So I know that 36 divided by 3 is equal to 12. The next question, we've got 88 divided by 4. So first I write the divisor, which in this case is 4. I draw my bus stop, and I write in 88. Now, how many 4s are in 8? Well, I know there's two 4s in 8. And how many 4s are in the second 8? Well, I know there's another 2 there. There's no more remainders. So my final answer for 88 divided by 4 is 22. Let's have a look at a few more examples. 91 divided by 7. So again, I'm going to start off writing the divisor, which is 7. And then we're going to write the dividend, which is 91, under the bus stop. How many 7s are in 9? Well, there's only one 7 in 9. And there's going to be a remainder of 2. OK? Now, how many 7s are in 21? Now, if you're not sure about this with tricky numbers like 7, See, it sometimes helps to write out the 7 times table. So 7, 14, 21. So I can see that there are three 7s in 21. So I'm going to write the number 3 there, and there's no remainders. So my final answer for this question is 13. So 91 divided by 7 is 13. On to the next one. 145 divided by 5. Once again, I draw my bus stop. 145. Now, how many fives are in 1? Well, there's no fives in 1 because 5 is bigger than 1. So write 0. And the number under the bus stop, that's going to be a remainder. So we take remainder 1 over. How many fives are in 14? Well, there's two fives in 10. So there's going to be 2 in there. But there's going to be a remainder 4. So we take the remainder 4 over. How many fives are in 45? Again, just go through your times table, and you should find that there are nine fives in 45. There's no remainders, so our final answer is 29. But what happens if there is a remainder after we get to the, the final digit? What happens if we go into decimals? Well, let's have a look. 28 divided by 8. So we write our divisor, which is 8. The dividend, which is 28. How many 8s are in 2? Well, there's no 8s in 2, because 8 is bigger than it, and there's going to be a remainder 2. How many 8s are in 28? Well, I know there are 3 8s in 24, and there's going to be a remainder of 4. But how can I write that now? Well, if you remember, after every whole number, if we were to put a decimal place in, there would be an infinite number of zeros after it. So 28 is the same as 28.0000. So for the remainder of how many 8s are in 28, there's 3 8s, and then there is a remainder of 4. And we can see now, the next bit we're going to do is find how many 8s are in 40. But don't forget to put the decimal point on top of the bus stop as well to help us with our answer, OK? Otherwise, your answer is going to be off. It's either going to have no decimal place or it's going to be off somehow. So now how many 8s are in 40? There are 5 8s in 40. And there's no remainder, so our final answer is 3.5. Now what about 14.3? This is going to be a weird answer, and we'll see where that is now. So 14 divided by 3, we've got 3, we've got 14. 
How many threes are in one? Well, three is bigger than one, so it's zero, remainder one. How many threes in 14? I know there's four threes in 12, and there's gonna be a remainder two. Now, remember, going into decimals now, so that remainder two I'm gonna pop in there. How many threes are in 20? Well, I know there is six threes in 18, and there's a remainder two. How many threes are in 20? Well, I know there's six, it's gonna be a remainder two. How many threes are in 20? There's six, remainder two. Now, hang on a minute. This looks like it's gonna repeat infinitely, okay? So if a decimal looks like it's gonna repeat infinitely, this is called a recurring decimal. So we're gonna stop there. Once we've realized we've got a recurring decimal, we're gonna stop there and we write this as 4.6 and we put a dot on top of the decimal that recurs to save us writing that number out infinitely. Let's have a look at the main task. So pause the video and have a go at these uh, division questions. Best of luck. Okay, here are the answers. Very well done if you got that right, especially those challenge questions that go into decimals. Let's have a look at the final checking question. So, Morgan operates a machine that packs bottles of water into boxes. He has 200 bottles of water to pack into identical boxes. Each box holds 12 bottles and he completely fills as many boxes as possible. How many boxes will he fill and how many bottles will be left over? So pause the video and have a think how you can answer this question. Okay, so going with the theme of the lesson, this is, this is some of you hopefully figured out this is a division question. So we wanna find out how many 12, how many boxes that could take 12 bottles we can get with 200 bottles in total. So the question we're asking, is what is 200 divided by 12? Okay, so here we go, this is the bus stop. So how many 12s are in 200? Okay, so how many 12s are in two? Well, 12's bigger than two, so we got remainder two. How many 12s are in 20? Well, there's only one 12 in 20, and there's gonna be a remainder of eight. How many 12s are in 80? So you might need to do your 12 times table for this. So let's go quickly through it. So we've got 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, and 84. Now, I'm gonna focus on 72 here. I can see that six times 12 is 72. But if I go more, if I had another 12, I go over 80. So I know there are six 12s in 80, and there's going to be a remainder of 8, because the difference between 72 and 80 is 8. So the answer to this question, 200 divided by 12, is 16, remainder 8. And to answer the actual question, how many boxes will he fill and how many will be left over? We know there will be 16 boxes, and there will be 8 left over. Thanks very much for watching, guys, and we'll see you next video. Bye now.